Hello, everyone, and welcome to our second segment of Louis Vuitton Wear and Tear Thursdays. I will be your host, Minx for All, for the next couple of minutes while we tackle the ever-beautiful, the ever-gorgeous canvas print that is Demi Ben. So let's get started. Uh, let me give you guys a little background information on it. It is the original print by the Fashion Powerhouse. Uh, it was created in 1888 by Louis Vuitton and his son. And it was originally just called Damier. It wasn't until 1996 or 1998 when it was reintroduced and renamed to be called Damier Eben. And it is my personal all-time favorite canvas print. <laughs> so that's a little background information on it. As I said before, let's get started. I have a ton of notes to go through and hopefully I will um, have covered most of the bases and if I and if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking down at my notes. Um, okay, so why Damier Ben? What it, you know, should I go for this piece? What is the big deal about it? So not only, in my personal opinion, not only do I love the history about it, I love the fact that it's the original print, um, but I absolutely love the fact that it looks newer longer in the sense that a lot of the pieces have treated leather instead of vaquetta. So this treated leather is actually coated and um, it won't show wear and tear as much as anything else. Like I said, it'll stay looking newer longer. Uh, I believe it is the all time perfect canvas for um, for any kind of climate and any kind of weather, whether it's rain, sleet, snow, sun, uh, it does not matter. I know a lot of people uh, that are kind of, are sometimes wondering, should I go for Demi Ben? Should I stick with monogram? Uh, originally, I was obsessed with, uh, with the monogram print, um, but it wasn't until I learned the history of the Demi, of Demi Ben, and I really got to appreciate it. And now, like I said, it is my all-time favorite print. And I'm obsessed with the fact that it looks newer, longer, honestly. I mean, that is probably the number one reason why people tend to go for it. I know a lot of people that live um, where it snows a lot and it rains a lot. They tend to stick to Demi Ben for those reasons because you don't have to be as careful. Um, I believe it is the perfect, it is the only kind of, canvas that I travel with. Um, besides my Keeple, obviously, because it's monogram, so I use that. But when I'm out and about in another city or in another country, I like to stick with Demi Event in the event that there are there, there is unexpected weather. So for example, let me show you guys. This piece right here is my uh, Demi Event Eva Clutch. And uh, I used this when I went to Paris. Now, beautiful absolutely stunning Paris <laughs> has unpredictable weather. It was sunny and shining in the morning. And while we, while we were walking around Versailles, it started to pour. I mean, full on rain to, I love the rain. So I loved it. Uh, but you can't even see, I'm trying to cover this up cause I don't want to, I don't want to blind you guys, but um, it looks just as it did the day that I that I took it out of its box. It shows practically no wear on it. If anything, there's wear on the gold plate right here from scratches. But other than that, the canvas itself is intact. So I absolutely love that. Uh, so as I said before, main reasons to go for this print, it, it looks newer longer. It shows uh, practically no wear. And um, it's perfect for any kind of climate and any kind of weather. If you're unsure, especially if you live somewhere where it rains a lot or it snows a lot, you would be pretty much covered. Um, now, I have four different pieces here. I actually just showed you one, which is my travel companion. But um, I have been fortunate enough to not have any problems with my Damier Ben. I know a lot of people out there that have had a lot of problems uh, specifically with their Neverfuls and their Speedies. And um, that is because, as I said before... Uh, it has treated leather. So the leather here is has a coat on it, so it won't show wear as much. And a lot of people have had problems with the cracking and the peeling on the handles themselves. So um, I, like I said, I haven't had any problems with it, but hopefully I'll be able to pretty much cover every basis and give you guys a real a real look into the wear and tear of the of the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my Neverfull. This is by far the most problematic bag uh, for this canvas. 
for this canvas print. Uh, like I said, a lot of people are having problems with the, um, with the straps tending to crack and peel. And right here, it usually tends to get really worn out. I have had mine for a few years now, and I don't think, hopefully you guys can see it, there are absolutely no wear marks on it. So I have been very fortunate with that. Uh, so as far as the Neverfull itself, like I said, the handles tend to be a lot more stiff versus the uh, Demi Azure and the Monogram because those have Vaquetta. So the Vaquetta is going to soften over time and it will patina. This won't patina. This won't show anywhere, but it is a lot, I mean, it is a lot more stiff. So as you can see, it's just standing there and they're practically standing up on their own. So um, over time, they will tend to soften up just a little bit, but not enough to the point where... Um, Oh, you're, you're just like, oh, this is super, super comfortable. And it just molds to your, it molds to your shoulder, shoulder. Um, I, I have no problems with it. It, like I said, it is a little bit stiffer, but it, let me just show you guys right there over time. I mean, I think these will start to maybe dig into your shoulder, uh, especially if you're, um, if you're very unsure of how it'll wear, I might not stick to this and I would probably go for the monogram or the Demi Azure because like I said, it, it molds to your shoulder. Um, okay. So as I said before, a lot of people have problems here that they start to crack and they start to show wear. As I said, I don't have any wear on it. So I don't really have an example to give you guys, but the only thing that I can think of is maybe it shows wear because of how much you have in here. So over time, because it is a treated leather, it's not the regular, regular leather. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time talking. Um, I think over time, this will start to bend and therefore you will start to see the creases. I know a lot of people have said that, um, the essays themselves tell them that it is normal wear for it to crack and peel, which I find to be absolutely ludicrous because, uh, like I said, these are all just my opinions. I'm not stating that this is what it is, but I think it's kind of crazy because you're spending a lot of money on a bag and for them to say, oh, it'll crack and peel depending upon the time. I know a lot of people, especially on the purse forum, have had problems with the cracking and peeling a few months after they've had the bag. And um, the essay has actually told them that it could be a few different things. It could be the lotions that they're wearing, a lot of the rings that they're wearing, if they're wearing rings, because it has a coat on it, if your, <clears throat> excuse me, if your ring tends to have a lot of spikes or something that might... Um, if, if you're going like this and it might end up catching on the coat itself, then it'll start to peel it. Um, and then a lot of people have said, if you have it handheld because of that, you know, if you have car keys in your hand, if you have lotions, hand sanitizers and all that other stuff, if, if you have it in your hand versus the crook of your arm, it will tend to peel. Like I said, I have not had any problems with it. I have hand worn it like this or handheld it. I have worn it on the crook of my arm, on my shoulder, and I have had no problems. So I don't know. Um, I, it's, it's really hard to say cause I don't know exactly what could warrant it to, to wear out that quickly. Some of them might just be defective. And if after a few months, uh, you start to notice cracking by all means, take it into the store because cracking will, um, obviously you, you can't fix cracking. If, if you have one little crack here, or if you have a small little crack here in between your handles and then you kind of leave it unattended, it will start to get deeper and then it'll just be, it'll ruin the bag. So if you start to see cracks and peels, you want to take it in as soon as possible. I know that sometimes they have that one year where if something happens to it, you can get it re uh, repaired, but I know that's also a case by case scenario. So I don't know. It's kind of difficult for me to say, and hopefully I'm not rambling on too much about it, but that's just a little bit on that. Now, another one of the, um, uh, another one of the problematic bags for Dami Ben is the Speedy for the same reason. A lot of people say that the, that the, the handles start to crack and they start to peel. I have not had any problems with that. Um, I, this is the one print I will never baby. I don't baby them at all for the reason that it has the treated leather and you won't be able to see the wear on it. So, um, as far as those two pieces go, I mean, as you can see, there's nothing wrong with it. And I've had this one for quite a while as well. 
So it kind of it kind of worries me. It kind of makes me think: um, Are they starting to get more defective? Although a lot of the essays has have said that. It is very uncommon for it to happen. However, there are huge threads of it on uh, on the purse forum. So I don't know. That kind of, as I said, that kind of worries me. So who knows? Maybe it's the contents of the bag. How heavy are, is the bag that you're carrying? And um, a lot of other things are, uh, like I said, just the same argument that it being handheld versus being held in the crook of your arm. Obviously, this is only for the classic Speedy. Uh, the bandolier has the strap, so obviously you would be able to carry that crossbody or on your shoulder. So this just pertains to this particular piece. Uh, now, let me show you guys another thing. This uh, wallet, this Josephine wallet, I actually had revarnished because it started to show cracks and creases on the varnishing itself. Um, and I do believe I got this done before a year's time and the revarnishing was free if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> but, um, same thing. Now, when you have a small leather good as such as this, and you start to see cracks on the side, you more than the bag, I would say, take this in because of the fact that once it starts to crack in the varnishing here, it'll start to crack into the canvas. And once it does that, your, your item is completely ruined. There is no fixing the canvas itself. So just be careful on that. Um, so as you can see now it's in perfect condition, but it, it was starting to get pretty bad throughout here and I could not take a chance and obviously you don't want to ruin the canvas. Um, okay. So another thing on the Damier Ben line, a lot of the pieces have red textile lining or red microfiber lining. Now you have to be careful with lighter contents in the bag, such as uh, if you have any multicolor or if you have lighter vernis pieces or maybe any other kind of brand that you have that has lighter uh, lighter materials. You want to be careful because this beautiful red interior is highly pigmented and it will stain your items. It will, uh, it will provide color transfer for your, for your lighter items. Uh, so just be very careful, careful on that. As you can see, it is a beautiful red and a lot of the pieces, as I said, come with red, uh, textile lining or red microfiber lining. So you want to be careful with that. So in the, in the end, um, hopefully I haven't deterred you guys from possibly venturing into this print. It is the best print. I have had no problems with it and is my only, tra it is the only uh, print that I reach for when I'm traveling. So, um, aside from the fact that a lot of people have been saying that it tends to crack and it tends to peel and things like that. Um, but as I said, I don't know if it's because of the weight of the bag or, um, I, I, or maybe they're being too rough on the back. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm kind of grateful that I don't have to <laughs> give you guys a bad example of it. But um, if there's a few of you out there that have had problems with the Neverfull or with the Speedy or any other kind of bag, I think the other one was the Hampstead that was also mentioned that had a lot of cracking and peeling. Let me know your guys' thoughts on it. And if you guys took it in, what did your uh, essays tell you? But all in all, I would not step away from this. Like I said, it's perfect for any kind of climate, any kind of weather. And you cannot go wrong with this. And as I said, I've had mine for quite a few years now and there are no problems. Oh, before I forget, there is one thing. A lot of people that do have this Neverfull tend to have a lot of creaks and cracks right through here. And um, I think it's just because it's a thinner strip of leather. So you will be able to see the wear on it. Obviously, if you're going into your bag a lot, I use this bag nonstop for two months and I did not have this problem. And I pretty much carry everything but and but the kitchen sink in my bag. So um, I don't I don't really have any problems. All I can show you right here that I see there is a tiny oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Where'd it go? Right here. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture it. Probably not. Right there there are tiny, tiny, tiny creases that you can see on the leather. So I don't know if that's the start of it. Let me just pull out the strap for my Eva clutch. Same thing. I've had no problems with it. It looks brand new. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully this isn't, um, oh man, I feel 
<laughs> I, like I said, I want to give you guys as much information as I possibly can, but I won't be able to show you the bad examples of wear and tear because I have not had any pr uh, problems with the wear and tear on the Demi bin. But if you were to ask me which print should I go for, I live in uh, somewhere where it rains a lot and it snows a lot. I would hands down always answer with Demi Ben because of that. Uh, the canvas, or you don't have to be very careful. Obviously, it's very durable because it is a coated canvas, so you can pretty much do this, and nothing will happen to it. And um, also, you don't have to worry about the vaquetta patina or turning or having patina or changing color or what if I get watermarks or anything like that. So if you're unsure. And if you're, if you're the type of person that's a little bit more uh, rough on your bags and you live in a climate where it doesn't necessarily allow you to have the Keta year round, I would go for Demi Ben for the reasons I stated above. So hopefully I've been able to give you guys a true, uh, a true sense of the print. Um, I feel like I didn't really give you guys very good examples because I don't have them on my pieces, but, um, Still, hopefully I'll be able to help you guys out and hopefully you guys will be able to, I mean, not second guess yourself when you're looking at this print because it is a beautiful print and um, I, 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 like I said, the number one reason why I like it is the history on it. So that is all I have for you guys. Just a super, or not a super quick because I'm at 16 minutes, um, uh, just a quick video on the wear and tear of Demi Ben. Please give me your comments and your questions down below. Let me know if there's something that I totally forgot to tackle. If I did, I apologize. I have been trying to film this video for the last hour and a half, and it has not been working, so I'm a little beat right now. <laughs> um, and just so you know, I will not be uploading a video on Monday because it is my seventh wedding anniversary, and um, that is time for me and my hubby. I know in a video, I think I said it was our eighth wedding anniversary, so don't tell him. That I miscalculated, but it is actually seven years. <laughs> so, as I said, that's all I have for you guys. Leave me your questions and comments down below, and I will see you guys next week with another wear and tear video. And let me guys let let me know what you guys think of these videos. This is my second one. I don't think this was as successful as the first one, but uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of them and what kind of prints or what kind of things you guys would like me to talk about. So. That is it. I will see you guys next week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.